This is KRUI, Iowa City. The Iowa legislator passes a cannabis bill. A terror attack in China kills three. And a U of Iowa wrestler is in trouble for theft. Breaking news out of Des Moines this morning, the Iowa House and Senate worked all night to pass a major piece of legislation. They voted on a bill that would legalize the use of cannabis oil to treat severe seizures. The oil isn't smoked and doesn't produce a high in users. The next step for the bill is Governor Terry Branstad's desk. Governor Branstad was also in the news a couple of weeks ago for secret settlements he made with former state employees. But now, paperwork shows that Iowa's three public universities are also using secrecy clauses in settlements over employment disputes. The Board of Regents just released the agreements, which show more than $1.3 million have been paid out since 2011. And while Iowa lawmakers have been busy passing bills, national legislators haven't been making much headway when it comes to raising the federal minimum wage. The mandatory pay will stay where it's at for now after Republicans blocked the U.S. Senate bill to raise it just yesterday. The bill would have gradually increased the minimum wage for the current, set from the current $7.25 an hour to eventually $10.10. 10 .10. Democrats say they'll force ad additional votes on the measure this year, and they hope to make it an election issue. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said a minimum wage increase would help lift Americans out of poverty. Only one Republican, a, t a Tennessee senator, voted with the Democrats in favor of the pay hike. And maybe lawmakers will look more closely at the drugs used in carrying out the death penalty after a botched execution in Oklahoma on Tuesday night. The execution of a convicted killer, Clayton Lockett, started at 6.23 p.m., but a reporter inside the execution chamber became concerned after the blinds were lowered almost 20 minutes later. Tweets that she sent out later that night detailed what happened. She says that Lockett was conscious and blinking when the process began, but then he started to have a seizure. Officials stopped the execution and took him to a hospital in an attempt to resuscitate him. He later died of a massive heart attack. Executions in the state have now been delayed by two weeks, and the state's governor is calling for an independent review. The White House says the execution fell short of humane standards. And in China, three people are dead after a terror attack at a rail station yesterday. People with knives attacked a crowd and set off explosions in a western region of the country. In addition to the three people that died, 79 were hurt. After storms in Iowa over the weekend killed two Iowans, two more people from the state are heading to the, helping the Red Cross clean up the aftermath. They're heading to Kansas and Arkansas to help storm victims there. Since Sunday's storms, the Red Cross has, has served nearly 9,000 meals and snacks. A U Iowa wrestler is in big trouble this morning for stealing a stranger's car at a party two weeks ago. 23-year-old Ethan Owens was booked in the Johnson County Jail this morning on charges of operating a vehicle without consent. He allegedly took the keys of an SUV at a party on April 19th and drove away. The vehicle was found the next day on Burlington with the doors unlocked and the keys inside. The charge is an aggravated misdemeanor and could mean two years of jail time for the wrestler. Owens is a junior and posted a 19-5 record last year. Good news for all you hockey fans, the Chicago Blackhawks will play the Wild on Friday after the fourth-seeded Minnesota team beat the Colorado Avalanche last night in overtime. The Wild trailed Colorado 4-3 before tying the game with only two minutes left in regulation. With five minutes left in overtime, the Wild scored, winning the series in seven games. Friday's game is in Chicago. And even though most sports fans are focused on the Stanley Cup and NBA playoffs, boxing will be the biggest story this weekend. Floyd Mayweather will fight Marcos Maidana Saturday night in Las Vegas. Mayweather will earn $32 million regardless if he wins or loses. The undefeated 37-year-old is already the highest paid athlete in the world, earning more than $90 million in 2013, even though he only fought twice. Mayweather is considering calling it quits after Saturday's fight. In his career, he has 45 wins and 26 knockouts. This will be Mayweather's first fight of 2014. And the weather in Vegas for that fight will probably be a little nicer than what we're seeing in Iowa City today. It's cloudy with a 60% chance of rain. For KRUI, I'm Sarah McCarthy. And I'm Caleb Hayes. Thanks for listening.